What's up guys, it is JTB here, and welcome to something I I wanted to do last year, and also for the two-year anniversary of the channel, but for some reason I guess I just decided not to. But today, or at least the day that you're watching this, is my 20th birthday. Obviously been alive 20 years, it's a pretty big deal, so pretty much making this video just to kind of go through and select my 20, fa my 20 most favorite videos. Now obviously, depending on which one you're watching, will be different. You know, if you're watching video number one, or video number seven, or video number twelve, or video number twenty, each video is going to be different because obviously, I want and I just want to like you know talk about stuff. So you'll see this little intro. I'll, you'll see that was the video now. I'll talk about it a little bit, play the video, and I'll chat to you guys afterwards. The video once it finishes. And without further ado, let's get into it. Number eighteen, getting things started. Barrel Road to Glory on FIFA 22. So if you, this is the first Road to Glory that I did on FIFA 22. I was trying to do a different thing with Harrogate Town where I was like, each month is an episode, but then I decided, nope, I have to go back, have to do Road to Glories, how I do them. And I did this. Obviously, I've improved a lot more from where I was then, even just with the structure of the videos. But man, this video, I mean, the team, just kind of the journey, it was my first, you know, it's the first Road to Glory in the new FIFA. I, it was my first time playing in the Conference League ever. So that was really fun, and it was just a really good journey. I really enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. Here you go. What's up, guys? It is Jay Biebs here, and welcome to the very first episode of the Barrow Road to Glory. First Road to Glory that I'm doing on FIFA 22, and honestly, what I'm planning on doing for the rest of FIFA 22. If you guys have been following along with the channel, you know that I do a lot of crew mode series that I never finish. In fact, I just finished a career mode series that I am, in fact, not going to finish. So, going back to Road to Glories, I like the way it works because the way that I do it, each episode is half a year, six months. So that way, you know, I stop, I play some games, I enjoy that experience, but at the same time, I get to build the team, get to see the team progress, see how things change, and, you know, it's, it's nice and quick, it doesn't drag on. And I get to try a bunch of crazy stuff. After this, it's going to be a bunch of cr creative club stuff. And then it's going to go, well, I'm thinking of doing like a creative club idea, and then just a regular road to glory. Just kind of keeping that, you know, little progress going that way, you guys get to enjoy everything you want to enjoy. With that being said, let's hop right into this. So, Barrow. Down in EFL League 2, they're not the greatest of teams. I think they're the third worst team. I did road to glory with them on FIFA 21, that I never finished, so that's why, really why I chose them. Plus, they're very nice uniforms. Board expectations are pretty easy, pretty simple. And hopefully, hopefully, things just kind of go well, you know? So the team that I'm going to be using, we're playing a simple 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. Farming is going to be in goal. Platt and Ellis are the center backs. Hutton and Bruh, outside backs. Banks and Jones are the two defensive mids. DeVitt and Gotts are the attacking mids. And Gordon and Zanzala up top. Very good formation, hopefully. I don't know what's, I don't really know what works with FIFA 22 yet. Very new, very new to the game, still trying to figure things out. Been watching a bunch of stuff, and from what I've gathered from playing and watching is I need at least one defensive mid, probably two defensive mids to help that back line. And going forward, you just need to score the chances that you get. So obviously, Road to Glories. This is not a one season thing. I'm not buying for now. I'm buying for four or five seasons from now. And that is all starting with Konaya Boyce Clark. Young goalkeeper from Reading bought him 59 overall, 970,000. 18 years old is the key. Dynamic potential should be able to make this guy a world class goalkeeper. And I fully expect him to be. And I'm probably even going to start him right away. Dynamic potential. Get him playing. Get the results. Let's get that overall up quickly. Same goes for CD Jata, Norwegian striker I bought from a Norwegian club, I can't remember the name. Well, I remember what it looks like, no clue how to pronounce it. 580,000, he's very quick. He's not the tallest, but he's very quick. So I'm thinking, you know, pair him up with, you know, kind of like an all-around striker. If we stick with this formation, you know, let him get in behind and the other striker kind of do some of the passing, the, the hold-up play. And hopefully he can just run in behind the defense and score every chance he gets. If that's how our team scores, that's how our team scores. If not, he's also a decent dribbler. You know, maybe he's the one that's dropping off, creating opportunities for the other striker. 
So I really like his versatility and what I can do with him with a little bit of tinkering. Josh K is a left wing back slash striker. Don't know how in the world you have that combination, but I've decided to sell him to Domok FC for 1.15 million. We get 775 million in the bank. And Josh Lillis will be departing the club. He's going to Wuhan FC for 155,000. And with the money from those two players, I was able to buy this man, Tierno Balo, Austrian attacking mid, 760,000 I bought him for, 19 years old. And he has, I think, 78 or 77 potential. He's very quick and he's very good dribbler. Exactly what I want from one of those attacking mid spots. He is not, he's not starting caliber quite yet because we already do have two very good attacking mids. But, you know, thinking ahead, thinking maybe even later in the season, he could easily be the starter. And we'll see what, let's see what happens with dynamic potential. So I've also decided to sell our former starting striker, Zanzala. He's going to Brook Bet for 1 million. I have different plans for the striker position, so I just decided to offload him. Youth scouts are obviously extremely important in any road to glory, which is why I'm buying one. Three star, three star scout is going to England for nine months. Again, this early, this early on, we're not looking for any specifics. It's just let's see what good players we can get and then build a team from there. And we are starting off very first league game at Stevenage. And this is how the team is lining up. We are in that 4-2-2-2. Boyce Clark is in goal. Platt Ellis are the center backs. Hutton and Bruh outside backs. Banks and Beadling defensive mids. DeVitt Gotts attacking mid. And Gordon and Williams are the strike force. And here are the highlights from our very first ever game. So yeah, 4-1 to loss is not how you want to start off your managerial campaign. Things definitely could have gone better, should have gone better, but again, I'm still trying to figure out what works, what doesn't work, how to play, how not to play. And again, the team is young, team is improving. So try not to overreact, but at the same time, don't want to underreact. So not, a, not this is not an overreaction, okay? I had this planned, I wanted to bring him in. I was just waiting for the funds and finding the right players. I wanted to bring in another center back to pair with our other center back, Platt, as Ellis is like 33 years old, and that player will be Andre Vera, Venezuelan center back, bought him for 770,000, good value for I think what should be a key key defensive stud for us. He's left footed as well, that definitely helps. Now we have a left footed center back, right footed center back, things are going perfectly, and Vera is just the icing on the cake. So James Jones has been sold to Ostersunds FK for 370000 He was never going to play. He had no chance. So might as well get him out now get some money for him. Same goes for Kagosi Nilth. He's going to Bristol Rovers, our fellow team also in our division, but he shouldn't help the team out, so I don't mind doing that. Dimitri C. If you are a Barrow fan or you know of Barrow, he is a very good, young, promising striker, but I have decided to sell him to Homstad's BK. See, because my thinking was, obviously I brought in Jata, I would prefer him to succeed over C. And with our formation, I just don't think C would work, because obviously if I, if I have to choose between one of the two younger players, I'm choosing C. But at the same time, Williams, one of our other strikers, he's having a very good season. He's looking very good and very promising. So I don't want to get rid of him, and I devalue, do I want to keep the good Williams now or the young C? Decided, you know what, let's get rid of C. We already have our, we already have another young promising striker. Let's bring him in, let's keep him. And C, unfortunately you have, you're gone. In the EFL Cup, we did lose three to one to Spurs. I didn't play this game because obviously we did not stand a chance. So I got another youth scout just because I have the money, nothing really else to do. Don't, don't have any players I want to bring in like the squad is a three-star, two-star scout going to Wales for nine months. Again, we're just looking for players. But looky what we have here. FA Cup action against Leighton Orient. 
And the team is a little bit different. The back line defensive mids are the same, but Balo will be getting his first start of the season, pairing him up with Gotts, two very good young attacking mids, like the way things are going to be going. Aim Williams and Gordon are the strike force. I think this team has a very good chance of winning, and well, let's find out in these highlights. So I mean, I honestly thought we had a chance and obviously it was close, but conceded a last minute goal. That's not exactly the way you want to lose as well. So this is a building block. It's a moral victory, but a physical loss. But I mean, as a manager, you gotta learn, you gotta know. You have to know when you played well, when you didn't play well. I think we played well. I think we just got pretty unlucky with the result. So another one of the reasons why DeVitt was not starting that game is because I have been looking to sell him. Bala will be taking over his spot as a full-time starter, and I've decided to sell DeVitt to Burgos CF over in Spain, 480,000. So I mean, pretty good, pretty good bit of transfers by me, but yeah, Bala is a certified starter now. And we got some bad news also from that game. Uh, Matthew Platt has broken his elbow. He's gonna be out for seven weeks. That is a huge loss. He's one of our starting center backs, a very good young center back. But this is why I did sign Vera, because we need him to be playing well. We need him. Really, this season is rotational purposes, but next season to be a starter. But depth is key. So in the league, we are currently sitting in 16th. But if you know, if you've done EFL League Twos. Stevenage and us could end up be finishing 4th and 5th at the end of the season. You you truly have no clue on who's a promotion, who's going to try to go for a playoff spot, and who's just going to settle for mid-table or lower-table mediocrity. You don't really know, I'd say, until the last 10 games, because even then, if team goes, a team goes on a run, they could jump up the standings. It's one of the things I like about League 2, you never know until it's pretty much over. So... Second half of the season, we could perform exceptionally well. We could get potentially get promoted, or we just can we just continue this run of form we're on, and nothing really happens. So yeah, guys, that is the first episode of the Barrel Road to Glory. Next episode will be coming out tomorrow. Each episode will be coming out day after day until obviously the season series ends, and then next the next series will start. So I think this, I mean, not exactly the greatest of starts. We got the players that we wanted, which is the, the key for this first season. Going to be honest, heading into this, I wasn't planning on getting promoted. I don't know if we will. But I do know that we got all the players that I wanted to get. And hopefully, I mean, if I know we're not going to get promoted the sec in the second half of the season, I will just play all the young players to get those dynamic potentials up. So it's, you know, it's a pretty good spot to be in of I don't know what I'm gonna do but what I do know is what you should do is you should subscribe if you enjoyed so you can see the rest of the episodes I would say some watch some of my other content but if you're watching this the day it came out chances are there's not another series out but if you're watching this back you know a month or two later check out some of my other stuff I hope you guys have enjoyed and it is Jay Beebs signing off <laughs>so guys that is going to just kind of wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see want to watch the original video link should be in the comments also check out more stuff like it but yeah it's an absolute blast 20th birthday is absolutely insane and it was just really fun to go back through look at my you know my top 20 videos whether it be views or just kind of importance to me it was really fun to do i really hope you guys have enjoyed watching trying to hit 500 subscribers over the summer because a nice milestone and it unlocks the community tab so I can interact with you guys better. So make sure you guys subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in a bit. See you later.